sleeping condition using the uh, Samsung gadget. <laughs> Are you using like a, a smartphone app? No, no, no. More, the, uh, more uh, expert use. Yeah, doctors use it. Ah. Kind of, I have a kind of syndrome. Oh, so you're, no, you're watching your sleeping patterns. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I have a no, how do you say? No breathing momentarily. No breathing. Ah, I breathing see. Apnea. Sleep apnea. I think it's apnea. Yeah, S A S syndrome. S A S. Sleep yeah. apnea syndrome. I think. Yeah. So that I was monitoring. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Using the gadget. So yeah, but uh, if you use a kind of uh, uh, how do you say air delivery system? A yeah. ventilator, right? Yeah, ventilator, yeah. That number, yeah, such a lady is barely reduced. Oh, that's good. That's <laughs> good. That's good. I'll bet your wife worries about that. Yeah, first time, uh, yeah. Uh, mm, has snowing is a terrible, maybe. Yeah. And that makes a uh, bit part for the bit partner. Yeah, doctor says a bit partner. <laughs> That's a really bad bed partner. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. I, well, I hope mm. they find out how to uh, fix your sleep apnea. Yeah. So the I ah uh, yeah this this is many stories about these kind of things. Yeah. Hey, I, <laughs> I have it. You have. You don't mind. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Let me say hi to uh, Everton again. How are you doing, Everton? I'm fine. In you, Kuchen. Not too bad. What's new? How is the weather? Um, here it's rain. Raining. Yeah, it's rain. Is it just but, one, but, one? Go ahead. What? Oh, sorry. I don't. I don't get it. Uh, is it raining for several days or just raining for one day? Mm. Uh, yesterday, yesterday and today. Oh, that's not too bad. I like the rain. Um, and but it's, uh, I be a, a little hot. What's the temperature, yeah. Everton? It's heat. Yeah. Um, let me see. I think it was. Um, Average uh, 20, 20 degrees. 20 degrees? Yes. That's that's cold. That's nice. Right now, for me, I'm looking. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm gonna change it to South. Here we go. Right now, for me, it's 33. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, it's 33 degrees at 6 p.m. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> Let me say hi to Yuka. How are you doing, Yuka? I am good. Thank you. How are you? Very good. Now, in Russia, they have oh. snow. Do you have snow where you live, Yuka? Oh, no, not yet. Probably next month. Next month, you'll yeah. start getting snow. Yeah. Are you excited? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do like the snow. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Let me say hi to you and Francisco. How are you doing, Francisco? I see that your microphone is on, but I cannot hear you, Francisco. Maybe there's a microphone problem. Maybe... Uh, try leap. Try, go ahead and say something, Francisco. No, I'm not hearing anything. Uh, you might want to try and leave and then come back. That might help. Let me say hi to Berta. How are you doing, Berta? I'm doing fine. Thank you. And you? Very good. I had my dinner. Oh, that early? I know, exactly. I had it early today, yes. Yeah, oh, Francisco. Francisco's uh, adjusting his mic and killing us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the weather is kind of crazy here. It changed into very hot again, and 
a while ago I went for a walk and this wind almost blew me away and then I heard some trees coming down. Oh my so god! Tornado. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, but uh, then I I was very close to my house and I got indoors and I didn't see anything else. So. Oh, be careful, be careful. Yeah, but uh, we haven't had a tornado or warning, so. Oh, that's good, that's good. Yeah, I saw that the weather got hot for you down there in Alabama. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy, it is crazy. Yeah. All right. Francisco, you want to try talking again? I know. Yeah, I could hear you adjusting your audio settings, Francisco, but I still can't hear anything. Um, that sometimes happens. Let me say hi to Prashant. Hello, Prashant. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Prashant, what time is it in India right now? It's 6.40 a.m. 6.40 a.m. Perfect time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what time do you Perfect. wake up? I wake up at 6 o'clock around. Every day? Yeah, every day. And Even on your day off? Yeah. Uh, we have Sunday off. So what time on Sunday? What time will you wake up? Uh, so I, I mean, uh, it has become habit. So usually I get up at six o'clock every day. Oh, that's good. That's good. I heard your daughter in the background. <laughs> His little son. As your son, how old is he? Uh, he is. Eight years old. Oh boy, he's having fun. Yes, he's having fun and he's getting up for karate class. <laughs> so do you do you take him to karate class on Saturdays? Uh, yes. What time does his class start? Class starts at seven o'clock. Seven oh, that's to so eight. Ah, so early. Yes, it's so early. Because his school uh, starts at eight o'clock. Uh, sorry, nine thirty every day. I see. I see. Wow, that's great. Well, welcome everybody. I want to say, yeah, exactly, Bertha. Uh, you should start teaching your son English, Prashant. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, guys. Today we're going to go through DDM 255, 256, 257, and 258, and what I want to do is uh, run through any questions that you have, first of all, for these four lessons. So this is 255, talking about space. Lots of stories about poop. Uh, I didn't realize that until later, but <laughs> there's lots of stories about that. Uh, but there is some good stuff. Uh, there's always good stuff to learn. And uh, oh, this picture is so scary uh, to me. But any questions? for uh, DDM 255. I don't I have any questions, but I do want to practice the last sentence. Sure. Uh, it has a lot of vowel sounds, and I would like to practice it. Go for it. If you don't mind, just a moment, because I need to make a recording. OK. OK, I'm ready. That's an awful lot of reward miles. That was pretty good. So that's an awful lot. That's an awful lot of reward miles. Um, I think your vowel sounded pretty good. If anything, a uh, lot of reward miles. Um, I would try and connect the V, lot of reward. Um, and remember, you're right, Bertha. We do say reward. But we can also say reward, um, but I like that you said reward. Try it again, please. Um, can I say the, um, can I cancel the F and off? Um, you could, but I think uh, most Americans would keep it. Okay. That's an awful lot of reward miles. Okay, so it sounds like you're canceling it, which is okay. Let's focus here. A lot of reward. Love. Uh, wait, lot of reward. Good, lot of reward. Lot of reward. That's an awful lot of reward, Miles. 
That's an awful lot of reward miles. That it sounds really good. This is really difficult to say quickly, isn't it? Yeah. That's an awful lot of reward miles. Good. Say it naturally. Woo, that's an awful lot of reward miles. Ooh, that's an awful lot of reward miles. I liked it. And this is where you're having a hard time, and it's because of the R. I think the biggest thing is that V and R sound for you. And uh, it's actually that when the W is combined with the R and D, it's a pain in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> now, so let's talk about this. Uh, ward, uh, W-A-R-D, it's going to sound like uh, war plus D, which is like uh, W-O-R-E uh, plus D, all the same thing. Ward, ward, ward. Uh, so of re, this is always tough for people of reward of reward miles and what we oh. do is we stop it here reward stop sound reward miles of reward miles that sounded really good reward miles reward reward miles that was really good that was really good yeah all right thank you so you much bet. you bet. More questions. This is uh, DDM255. Questions first. Yeah, could you hear me now? I can hear Francisco. Welcome. Oh, actually, this is my first time with my new headset. <laughs> I bought a new one, but it still has some problem. Oh. oh, it sounds good, though, now. Okay, okay. Anyway, good. Very good, very good. Welcome. And I want to say welcome to Marco also. Welcome, Marco. And let me remind everybody, please mute uh, your microphone if, when you're not talking. It will keep the audio uh, quality better. Uh, I'm going to close this 255, no questions, three, two, one, boom, it's gone. Don't save. I'm going to open up 257. I'll open up 256 in a minute. 257 was PSL, please, pumpkin spice lattes. And I'm guessing that in your country, except for America, maybe Canada, I'm guessing you do not have pumpkin spice lattes. Uh, but they're very popular here in uh, America. Lots of people like them. Um, any questions on this story? This was a tough one. This was a pretty difficult assignment. Lots of words, lots of culture, lots of good stuff, actually. I really like this picture. The picture to me is so funny. These two children, they look so bored, and their big sister looks so happy. <laughs> and I'm sorry, their, their pictures, their, their pumpkin carving, um, it's my quality. It's really bad. It's really terrible. This is how good I do. <laughs> But I like it. It's a good family picture. I really like it. Questions about 257, pumpkin spice lattes. Bunch of geniuses. My perf students are all geniuses. No questions? I want to say, okay. What's that, Cooney? I want to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Different from the pumpkin, yeah. You you ask me, you ask uh, about uh, seasonal drinks. Seasonal yeah, drinks, yes. Yeah. And uh, in Japan, probably we can list the uh, uh, amazake uh, or uh, rice milk, probably. Rice milk. No, yeah. It, it doesn't contain alcohol. Okay, so, so it's not the, a wine. So the children can drink, yeah. Uh, you know what? Is it In Korea, they have something called shikhe. Is it like shikhe? Mm -hmm. Probably. A very white and sweet. drink. And sweet. Sweet, yeah, sweet. Oh, yeah. Japanese word, Japanese word, amazake, yeah, sweet, sweet wine. Yeah, see to rice wine. That's right. 
So I'm a, I'm gonna guess I'm a sake drink. Hey, pretty good. And the other thing we in I experienced in United States this season, I remember the uh, apple cider. Apple cider, absolutely. Apple mm -hmm. cider is mm -hmm. popular, and in America we have two types of apple cider: one uh, with alcohol and one without alcohol. And in America, mm -hmm. usually it's no alcohol. In the UK, it tends to have alcohol, mm -hmm. but in America, usually no alcohol. So during the apple yeah. harvest season, which is now, you'll find mm -hmm. lots of apple cider up north. Where I live, nothing. But up north, uh -huh. uh, you'll find a lot, yes. Mm -hmm. And they'll I, get warm we, and cold. We lived in uh, Maryland, yeah. So Maryland, I, yes. Yeah, often we did the orchard, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we enjoyed picking the apple. Yeah, maybe a Macintosh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <don't> Macintosh apple, <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. So the and also orchard sells uh, apple cider. Mm -mm -mm. The same time. Good stuff. Delicious. Yeah. Uh, now on the road, uh, side of the road, they uh, kind of do uh, Yeah, they'll sell, they'll sell them sure. by the basket, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh. oh, boy. Now I'm getting thirsty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, good stuff. Any... Questions or any other points for 257? Otherwise, I'm closing it. Just one question. Yes, Francisco. I, I, I'm not familiar with the fructose syrup. Is it popular one in, in the States? Oh, you in, do you know what it is in Korean? I don't know. Corn fructose syrup. Corn fruit. So yeah, corn fruit, yeah. Oh, I forgot my Korean. Um, corn fructose, high corn fructose syrup in Korean. Um, what's? Oh, I forgot. I I'm losing my Korean. You mean, you mean yot? Yot? Yeah, yummul, yummul. Oh yeah. Okay, I see. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank and you. That's it. Yes. Okay. So yeah, high fructose. So the so the full name is high fructose corn syrup, and uh, it's very sweet and almost 100% GMO. <laughs> we have some okay. comments here. I'm seeing um, Beretta has just left. I like eggnog with tequila. Now, Bertha, eggnog is a Christmas drink in America. What about in Mexico? Yeah, I know, and I like to add tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds delicious. We have a drink in Mexico called rompope, but it already has the tequila in it. It's already got the rompope tequila. I like it. Sounds great. I'll try it one day. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Gone. I'm going to open up Seinfeld. Now, we started a new Seinfeld. This is actually finishing up the last Seinfeld, talking about Steinbrenner and George and spicy chicken, misunderstandings with Jimmy, the AMCA benefit, the fight, the singing, the... Lunch and Mr. Steinbrenner um, and just really funny stuff. Lots of silly things, but good expressions. Lots of good English. Uh, Sideline. This is a great expression, and I, I gave everybody in the VIP classes the example of me. Many of you remember in July I was sidelined because of a kidney stone. So if you're sick with something and cannot do something, this is a case when we use the word sidelined. It's a great expression. It's really a great, uh, very useful expression. Lots of good stuff. Swollen, uh, cupcakes. Oh, man, I love cupcakes. Uh, great stuff. This is 256, and I'm going to show you 258. We started a new Seinfeld. Are you seeing the screen? 
make sure that you can see it, 258. Uh, this is a new Seinfeld episode that we started. And Jerry's talking about killing insects. Uh, we have a double date. Both the boys are on a date with uh, Paula and Shelly, their new girlfriends. And Jerry was eating some pecans that uh, his date, Shelly, actually spit out. And that was kind of the first big situation. Um, these are pecan nuts. They're very delicious. Looks like maybe caramel sauce. Uh, could be some other sauce on ice cream. Very delicious. So these are the two Seinfeld episodes. Questions, anything Seinfeld related? Oh, Beth, I'm so jealous. They're having a severe thunderstorm. I hope your internet stays okay. Yeah. Standing. Um, well, the another uh, are we we are, you are, you already talk about the previous uh, Seinfeld. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. We can go back. No problem. Because I have a question over there where Kramer was saying in, in um, about the candy. Yep. When he was talking about the candy. There's no candy around here. I'm going to go try and find some candy. Yeah. Uh, can we say um, I'm going to go and try to find instead of that? Yes. Any combination is fine. We can – this is such a terrible sentence, uh, and Americans love it. Uh, so I'm going – I'm going to – so I'm going to go – we can say nothing, we can say and, we can say to, try, we can say nothing, we can say and, we can say to, find some candy. Any combination. I'm going to go try, find some candy. That's possible, but that's a lot of verbs. So usually we'll add something. I'm going to go and try to find some candy. I'm going to go and try and find some candy. I'm going to go to try to find some candy. All of them are possible. Um, I think and and are most typical, but and to sounds really natural too. Okay. Not for me because if I uh, talk to somebody out there, I put to to find. Yeah, which is absolutely fine. Yep. Yeah. And, and also I have another question over there where... Stein, Steinbrenner uh, was talking uh, with George. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's a little uh, down. Where? Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I forgot where was it. Okay. I was where we, we. He was saying really. I forgot. I didn't take the note. Well, let's see here. You might think about it when we do role play. Uh, okay. I, I don't know really what the hell is going on here. Yeah. 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 Um, can I say I don't really know? Absolutely. Yep. I'm glad you asked. Yes. We can put the position of this really. I don't really know. I don't. I would say I don't really know is much more common. Yeah, because I uh, the way that he said it, I was hard, I was having a hard time when I was practicing, and I said, "Oh, it's easier." Yeah, well, I don't really know. Great, and yes, uh, absolutely. So, Stein, oops, uh, Steinbrenner said it in this position, but uh, it's absolutely fine in this position, and no, actually, really. it's more common. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Prashant says, could we please let us know how we pronounce weave? Okay. Um, so the word weave, uh, the, the perfect pronunciation is just weave and just it's we with a V ending. But we have to remember, um, we've been there. Uh, we've uh, had it. Uh, we've gone there. In this situation, we could have different pronunciations. Perfect okay. pronunciation, we've. We've been. We've been there. We've been there. 
We've okay. had it. We've had it. We've <laughs> gone there. We've gone there. That's perfect pronunciation. But we have a, a cancellation rule that says if we have the V, V-E suffix, and the next is a consonant, then we can okay. cancel the V-E. Okay, so it's possible, especially here, to say, we been there, we gone there. It's okay. possible. I don't recommend it, but it's possible. Here, usually the H is canceled. So we'll usually say, we've had it, we've had it, we've had it, we've had it for three years. We've had it for three years. And sometimes okay. it sounds like we've had it for three years. That's possible, too. We've had it. We've had it. We're like an F. And, of course, we can keep both sounds. We've had it. We've had it. So there, in this situation, we can cancel the H, keep the V. We can change it to an F, or we can just keep everything. Three possibilities. Okay. Very flexible. So, yeah. Prashant, my recommendation for you, always say it perfectly. Vimi. Okay, thank you. You bet. More questions? Don't be shy. Nothing. Amazing. Let's look at the glossary. Oh, yeah, nothing here. Um, let me open up the second glossary. Anything down here? Pest control, crumbs, boycott, vexing, sketches, doodles, purses. Yeah. Everything looks okay, everybody? Okay. Great. Let's get into role play. I'm going to take you all the way back to 255. I want to hear you guys uh, saying this one. I'm going to break this into sections, and uh, they're going to be uh, yellow, white, yellow, white. I'm going to break it up like that. So just give me a second. And, yeah, we'll keep the last one pretty long. So we got uh, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, white. And I'm going to have everybody read. So we're going to start with let me change my screen okay so 255 waiting for the screen there we go so we have a uh, yellow white yellow white yellow white i'll start with Beretha. Beretha, the yellow section everton the white section marco the yellow section and then uh prashant right after that francisco and then Yuka, and then we'll come back to, and get uh, uh, Kuni to try it again, too. Uh, so let's start with Bertha, please. Okay. A price to pay. Uh, we are right over Australia, and it's the, it's the middle of the night there right now. Astronaut Scott Kelly is currently in the middle of his year-long mission in space. Here are five incredible facts about his time on board the International Space Station. During the course of his stay, the astronauts estimated 180 pounds of solid wasted fuel be jettoned and upon re-entry the atmosphere, burn up in a bright meteorite-like display. His feces eventually looks like shooting stars. Marco. The number of sunrise and sunset has got access to absolutely no force. The number we do over the course of his mission, most earthlings will see 684 combined sunrise and sunset. Scott Kelly's known track to see 10,944. Good job, very good. And Prashant. When thirsty, he often drinks recycled Sweden urine 
around 730 liters in total during the mission. It's unlikely anyone of Earth will do this, but you never know. Great job. Francisco. During the trip, Kelly will be exercising in excess of 700 hours in order to keep his health up. The strength training is particularly necessary for his heart, muscles, and bones. He's also encountering, encountering a massive amount of radiation during his time in space. In order for someone on Earth to experience the same levels of radiation as the intrepid astronaut, they'd have to fly from New York to Los Angeles and a total of 5,250 times. That's an awful lot of reward miles. Very good. Uh, Cooney, let me have you read. Yeah, let's go ahead and have you read the first section here. Cooney, go for it, please. Okay. A price to pay. We are right over the Australia, and it is it, uh, 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 the middle of the night. They are right now. Astronaut Scott Kelly is uh, currently in the middle of his year-long mission in space. Here are five incredible facts about his time on the board the uh, International Space Station. Great job. Okay, uh, so let me start with um, Beretha first. We are right over Australia. We are right over Australia. Good. So, um, the pronunciation of this country is going to be – now, what you said was actually the Australian pronunciation. So people in Australia say it <laughs> just like you did, uh, which okay. is correct. But most Americans are going to say Australia. Australia? More A. Australia. 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 Bingo. Right over Australia. Uh, right over Australia. Bingo. Perfect. Australia. It's a tough one. Australia. Yeah, Australia. More A. Get that A. Australia. Okay, just a moment, please. Just a moment. Okay. Australia. I like that. That was better. Give me that A-W. Australia. 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 Good. Right over Australia. Right over Australia. That was your best. Okay. Currently. Currently. Is currently in the middle. It's currently in the middle. Very good. Incredible. No. Incredi incredi incredible. Incredible. Incredible facts. Incredible facts. How was the scenery in Oregon? Oh, it was incredible. Perfect. There you go. And careful with the R2. Incredible. incredible. I also have a question before I forget about how to pronounce during. Yes. During. Oh, hold on a second. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Could you please explain uh, my syllables because yeah. I have problems with that. Okay, so there's two pronunciations for this word, and some people say jir, and it's like a D-E-Y-R, jir ring, and I do recommend two R's, so jir ring, if you're going to say that, jir ring, jir ring, some people might even do more of a U, jir ring, jir ring, I would say this is not very common, but possible, this is Somewhat common, but the most common is going to be during. And this is a small r here. Whoops. And this is how I want you to think about it. Sorry, let me get the uh, lines out of the way. During. Okay, so dur just a little bit of an r here. During, during, during. During. That sounded perfect. So let's try all three. During. 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 
during 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 yeah you really get that you yeah some people do that during during yeah you're getting the kind of a j but that's that's not too bad but this i think this is going to be best for you during during perfect that's that was perfect during okay thank you so you much bet. Let me go to Everton. Everton, speak of the devil. Keep that TH2. During the course of his stay. During the, car, during the course of his stay. Good, good. During the course. Keep that TH a little bit more. During the course. During the course. 180 pounds of solid waste. One, 180 pounds of solid waste. Solid waste. Okay, so I want more P, pounds. Pounds. Okay, and you're doing, so this is a problem. So we got the word bounce and pounce. Can you say that? Bounce, pounce. Bounce, pounce. They sound too similar. Um, I have a P pronunciation video. I wonder if I can find it. Everybody, please mute your microphones. I've got some background noise. Um, please mute your microphones. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on a second. Uh, P. P. B. I can't find it. I knew it. Okay, here we go. So... I'm going to give you this link, um, I, and I want you to practice this P and B sound. I'll put it in the chat room. Do you see that there, Everton? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah, so keep that link and practice your Bs and Ps, okay? Okay. All right, let's go over here. Jettison. Jettison. Good. 180 pounds of solid waste will be jettisoned. 180 pounds of solid waste will be jettisoned. Very good. Sa, solid. Solid. Good job. Atmosphere. 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 Atmos. Atmosphere. Good. Now you're doing an O, but it's actually a schwa. Atmosphere. 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 Perfect. And this is a tough one. Meteorite like. Meteorite like. Perfect. In a bright meteor like. I'm sorry. In a bright meteor light. I can't do this. <laughs> In a bright meteorite like display. In a bright meteor like display. You're doing it like me. We're both terrible. <laughs> Let's do it one more time slowly. In a bright meteorite-like display. In a bright meteorite-like display. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Let me go to Marco. Marco, your okay. the volume level was soft. It was hard to hear, but let me hear it again. The number of sunrises and sunsets... The number of sunrise and sunsets. I need more S. The sunsets was good. I need more S here. Sunrises and sunsets. The number of sunrises and sunsets. Good job. One more time, please. The number of sunrises and sunsets. Yes. Absolutely dwarfs. Absolutely dwarfs. Great job. Very good. 684. Six, sorry, six hundred, six, six, six hundred eighty-four. <laughs> good, good. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Six hundred eighty-four combined sunrises and sunsets. Six hundred eighty-four combined sunrises and sunsets. Okay, sounds so, good. Sunrises don't and don't sunsets. Say Come say come combined. Combined. Good. Try it again. Combine it. Sunrises and sunsets. Don't leave out the number. 
Okay. Uh, 684 combined sunrises and sunsets. Good job, Robocop. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. This is tough. So let's try it one more time. Listen carefully. 684 combined sunrises and sunsets. We will start. Should I should I say it again? Yes, again. Okay. 684 combined sunrises and sunsets. 684 combined combined sunrises and sunsets. It sounds better. Let's go back to this word. Combined. Combined. Good. You're doing combined ned. I don't want that. Let's get rid of the D. Don't worry about the D. Combine. Combine. Good. Combine. Now, Good. So now listen carefully. Combined. Combined. Perfect. 684 combined. 684 combined. Bingo. That's it. That's what I wanted. Good job. How do you say this word? What word? On. On. Yes. On. Is on track to see. On track to see. Great job. Very good. Very good. Let me go to Prashant. When thirsty. When thirsty. Good. More W. When thirsty. When thirsty. More TH this time. <laughs> when thirsty. When thirsty. Good. 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 How do you say this word? Uh, well, I have some doubts. You know, this T is followed by A. Yeah. So I tried to apply the rules uh, to flap D, flap T, and then there is N. So it's a strong family, right? Sound. So I was confused. And then it's D. So so I should uh, delete the sound. I mean, uh, T followed by A, then strong N, and then by D. So which should I use? Yeah, that, no, that's, that's all great. Um, this is what I recommend. Is, is this word common mm -hmm. or uncommon? Okay. Do you use this word this, every day? No, not, no. not more often. Exactly. So probably we should keep the sound very clean. Okay? Okay. Okay. So we, okay. Don't, so we, we don't have to say sweat, but we can use a stop sound, sweat. Okay. Now, what about this word? Is this word common? And yeah, it's, uh, it's very common, right? Yes. So in this case, let's get rid of the D. So okay. sweat and urine, sweat and urine, sweat okay. and urine. Uh, right. Sweat and urine, sweat and urine. Now, in this case, if we cancel the D, we want to connect N urine, N urine. Yeah. Okay. Sweat and uh, sweat and urine. It sounds better. Just these two. N year. N urine. Good. N urine. N urine. Okay. Okay. N urine. When thirsty, he often drinks recycled sweat and urine. Okay. When th when thirsty, he often drinks recycled sweat and urine. Around 730 liters. Around 730 liters. Okay. Give me more. Uh. Around. Around. More around. Up. Good. Around. Up. Around. 730. 730. That's right. So be careful with these THs. Thirsty 30. Thirsty 30. One okay. more time. Thirsty 30. Thirsty 30. More air. Thirsty 30. Thirsty 30. Good. Very good. Very good. During the mission. During the mission. Okay, so you're doing during, during. which is fine. This is okay. now, everybody, if you listen to him, say it again, Prashant. During. Okay, now you're a little bit more here, and that's fine. Okay. I don't mind. Okay. I don't care which one you use. Uh, just recognize okay. there are other pronunciations. So one more time. During okay. the mission. 
during the mission. I like it. That's fine. Uh, it's unlikely anyone on Earth. It's unlikely anyone on Earth. And once again, connection on Earth. On Earth. On Earth. He's a or on. Its American pronunciation is on. Ah, okay. Anyone on Earth? Anyone on, and the connections start here. Anyone on? Anyone on? No, no, no. Uh, the one on. One on. Good, good. On Earth. On Earth. Anyone on, on Earth? Earth? Anyone on Earth? That's better. Anyone on Earth? Anyone on Earth? There you go. That was good. Now, now be careful of the R. Anyone on yeah. Earth? Anyone on Earth? Not too bad. On Earth. Anyone on Earth? Any? Anyone on Earth? It's good, except you're not linking right here. This is where I need the linking. That's going to make a big difference in sounding like an American. The linking. Mm -hmm. That's true. Anyone okay. on Earth? Anyone on Earth? That's why, so in this situation, Prashant, just yeah. stop and do these two. Anyone okay. on? Anyone on? No. Anyone on? Good, good. Again. Anyone on? Anyone on? No. Again. Anyone on? No. Any on. Anyone on? Yes. Okay. Say it one time. Anyone on? Anyone on? Anyone on? No. Anyone on? No. Oh, no. I so do you can you feel when you're right and can you feel when you're wrong yes yes okay good it's just practice it's just practice yeah. very good very good yes. okay all Thank right you. let me go to my next victim Francisco yes during the trip during during the trip during no during during the trip no dur during during, during your tongue the is touching. Don't let your tongue touch during. During the trip. Better during the trip. During the trip. Don't think about the U. Change it to an ER. Er. During. During. That's better. During the trip. During the trip. During the trip. During the trip. 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 Good. Exercising, this is a Z sound, exercising. Exercising. In excess of. In excess of. Good, very good. Kelly will be exercising in excess of. Kelly will be exercising in excess of. One more time. Kelly will be exercising in excess of. Kelly will be exercising in excess of. This is in, we have to get this ing in, keep it again. Kelly will be exercising in excess of. Kelly will be exercising in ex excess of. Good. Keep the th. Keep his health up. Keep his health up. Keep keep that p. Keep his keep, health up. Keep his health up. The strength training. The strength training. Good. This is tr tr. Very tough. The strength training. The strength training. For his heart, muscles, and bones. For his heart, muscles, and bones. That intonation is important. You don't want to say heart, muscles, and bones. You want to say heart, muscles, and bones. It's not A and B. It's A, B, and C. Heart, muscles, and bones. <laughs> very good, very good. I'm watching my cat. <laughs> my cat is being uh -huh. stupid. Great job. Let me go to Yuka. Massive. Hi. 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 Massive. Hi. 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 <laughs> so massive amounts. Massive amounts. Some massive amounts. Some massive amounts. Of radiation. Of radiation. Good. Now this is a short A. This is a short U, and this is a long A, okay? Crazy. It's exactly, it's crazy. That's exactly right. So one <laughs> more time. 
some massive amounts of radiation. Some massive amount, amounts of radiation. Much better, much better. During his time. During his time. On Earth. On Earth. Good. And try and connect it on Earth. On Earth. There you go. There you go. On Earth. On Earth. Radiation. Radiation. Intrepid. Intrepid. Marco, mute your mic, please. <laughs> As the intrepid astronaut. Huh? Where is it? As the intrepid astronaut. As the intrepid astronaut. Good. More R. As the intrepid astronaut. As the intrepid astronaut. Good. Let's try this again. As the. As the. Eh, eh, as the eh, as the good job Los Angeles Los Angeles Angeles uh, how do you pronounce L dark L or light L I prefer light L both of them Los Angeles Los Angeles 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 perfect Los Angeles it's more of a Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Great job. Very good. Let me go to Cooney. Cooney? Um, it's the. It's the. Yes, uh, that was actually good. The S-T-H is tough. It's the. Uh, it's the. Keep the yes. It's the. Uh, it's the. Uh, and this is really tough. It's the uh, the middle of the night there. It's the uh, the middle of the night there. I like it. Night there. Night there. Year long. Year long. His year long mission. His year long mission. Very good. On board the International Space Station. On board the International Space Station. The International Space Station. Uh huh. On on board the International Space Station. Board. Board. That's a tough one. On board. On board. On the on board. On board the International Space Station. Bingo! Sounds great. Questions, everybody. That was really good. Questions. Anything you want to practice? Well, I have a question. Can yes, I? Yes, sir. Uh, the last paragraph. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, where's the is the is the is the interpret astronaut? So when we uh, yeah, uh, when we speak as the as the can it become essay? Yes, it can. Like on video. Yeah. Yes. So you explain as the. That's right. So when we have as the, the Z sound can cancel the TH. So it's possible to have basically as the, it does, it can sound like that. But um, it's very possible. My recommendation when you say it, never try to do that. But when we listen, it does happen naturally. So if I say it fast, in order for someone on Earth to experience the same levels of radiation as the intrepid astronaut, as the as the intrepid as the intrepid, so in this case, as the as the. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Yeah, it's a good question. So once okay, again, first part. Hmm? Uh, uh, go ahead, Cooney. Yeah, first part. Okay. The first part. First, yeah, first two paragraph. Yes. Uh, in this part, uh, yeah, currently, currently, about yeah. currently, yeah, this uh, word have uh, two uh, double R's, okay? Okay, so if R -R, you R -R. right, if you look in the dictionary, they'll say currently, uh, yeah, and that's that's good. Mm, I I think it's like more like during though. Currently, I recommend a cur with a small R. Mm -hmm. And then rent with a schwa, 
uh, mm -hmm. rent a stop sound currently. Mm -hmm. Currently. Not a don't finish the T. I, I do recommend a stop sound. Currently. Currently. Good. Okay, that's a T. Your T is very clear and that's fine. That's actually absolutely fine. That sounds good. Currently. Currently. Good. So the I kind of rule such a kind of uh, double R spell. How about uh, how do you say that? Uh, kind of uh, rule you you can say. Uh, yeah, it's it's basically Kuni. What I talk mm -hmm. about when we have two similar sounds next to each other, we connect mm -hmm. and focus right. on the second sound. That's what you should mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. It's not really and, uh, cancellation. It's just mm. much more focused on the second sound. Yeah, similar situation ha uh, occurred uh, air sound also, double air sound, like uh, legal, uh, uh, legal and uh, illegal. illegal. Yes, like illegal, yes. Mm. Illegal, yeah, definitely. Now, once again, if we say the word illegal slowly, it's going to be illegal. Okay, definitely. However, in a conversation when we're speaking, it's going to be a uh, very, very small L, illegal. 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 Yeah. Uh, and once again, the similar sounds next to each other, uh, we would focus more wow. on the second L. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before you told also the same situation in uh, narrator. Narrator, that's right, that's right, yep. And another thing is, uh, yeah, I sold it <laughs> year, long, year, year long, okay? Year so long, this, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably a couple years ago, you invited many people in the uh, uh, dictation uh, of, of the uh, news title, you start using the new, news title. And uh, one of the thing is uh, IPO or uh, uh, autopilot. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Do you remember such kind of lesson? I think so. People? A very long time ago, yes. <laughs> yeah, two years ago. And this time I remember the similar expression year long, but a different <laughs> expression. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm, I don't <laughs> think I'm going to remember. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, skip it. <laughs> okay, good. Similar, similar, similar things at long, long distance or something. If anybody remembers something similar <laughs> to the word year long, if anybody knows of a word, uh, help us out here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. I'll check it. Okay. I, okay. Um, yes, I have a question. I have a question about the where you were talking about about. Currently and during. Yeah. Um, I was thinking uh, the little R that you said that can be a vowel. A vowel R is between the vowels, right? Definitely, yeah. and that and that it's a very important sound. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I, uh, you know, understand the vowels and the R. Uh, vowel well, R is complicated. Yeah. So in this case, we it goes like the vowel and then the ring is a regular R, right? Uh, yes, absolutely. If you want to say it, it's almost like a dark R, if that makes any sense. Okay. The ring. During, during. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's, it's, I like what you're doing. Yeah. Um, so, so once again... Dur, very dark, very in the back of your mouth, dur, dur, yeah. dur. Ring, yeah. ring really comes out very clear, very sharp, yeah. dur, ring. Dur, ring. Yeah. And we're talking specifically about this section right here. And I absolutely agree, um, it's a very dark kind of sound. And then currently. Same thing, currently. currently. This very much, much brighter, much clearer. Currently, currently, rently, rently, rently. Currently. Don't say cool, say cur. Currently. Oh, yeah. Currently. I liked it. Currently. Faster. Currently. Currently. 
currently. Currently. You're doing you're doing cool again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Current. Yes. Uh, currently. Bingo. Currently. I like Current. it. Thanks. Look at all these points. Lots of points here. All right, counting to three. Three, two, one. Closing. Now, I'm going to go to Seinfeld. And I'm going to go to our newest Seinfeld. Oh, I want to practice this one. Uh, we've got the stand-up routine. Um, I'm going to break this into a couple of pieces. And uh, then we got this scene with George and Jerry and uh, their new girlfriends. So I'm going to break that into a couple of pieces, too. Um, and I'll give everybody a roast. So we got Shelly, Paula, not too much there. So, yeah. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start here. I want to start at the top. Hold on a second. Let me switch the screens so everybody can see. Uh, so once again, this is from 258, our most recent Seinfeld. And let's go ahead and start with Bedetha, the first paragraph, Everton, the second paragraph uh, that I have here, and Marco, uh, I want you to do the third. Marco, right now your microphone is on, and if you look at the app, it's green. The microphone is green. And if you click there you go there you go so if you click on it it's off so I and everybody I want you to keep your microphone off um, un, unless you're speaking of course then you need to turn it on so perfect so Bedetha can you start us off please okay you know these pest control companies they call themselves exterminators but they can really do it the best they can do is get the bugs to go to somebody else's house. They just relocate, relocate, wait, they just relocate them. You know what I mean? They're bug realtors. That's what they are. Great job. That's what they are. Yeah, there you go. Very, very good, very good. Mark uh, Everton. I think you'll be, I think you'll be happier. There's a lot of crumbs, not much life. They usually sleep through the night. So you really have your run of the place most of the time. Nobody really cares about killing insects. Even the animal rights, people don't care. Great job. And Marco. You could, uh, you could probably walk into an animal rights organization meeting and hear a speech like, the only way to stop the growth of the scientific testing on animals this left his neck uh, go to him is to boycott these companies great job very good guys uh, let me go back and I'm gonna kill you guys on pronunciation better that you did really good uh, you said some somebody's I want some somebody else's house I don't know why I say some there's some <laughs> somebody <laughs> You know it. Um, no. Now, let's get rid of the re. Uh, how do we say that word? Relocated, but I'm confused because sometimes it's right. re, sometimes it's ro. <laughs> no, exactly. It is confusing. Um, and once again, let me give the rule to everybody. So, uh, I thought it was uh, relocated because it's located and then you relocate it. You're right, Bertha. It is re, okay? Um, but let me, I'm going to give you some interesting things here. Uh, okay. So, uh, we have, the, the problem is, do we say re or do we say r? And there is a rule. But we must remember that rules can be broken. But the rule basically is, if we separate the re, and we look at what we have here. And instead of re, if we can say view again, if we can say member again, if we can say do again, if we can say mind again, and if it makes sense, 
then we say re. So view again. Does that make sense? Review. Yeah. Yes. So it's review. Okay. Member again. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. Member, what the heck is that? Member, we know the word remember. Member again doesn't make sense, so it's r, remember. What about do again? Does that make sense? Yeah, because we, we can do it again, right? Exactly, that's right. So it's redo. What about mind again? Does that make sense? Uh, I don't know. It, I, it's confusing, I know, but it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Um, mind again, what does that mean? Not for remind. We know the word remind. Remind me. Remind me means tell me. Mind again. No, it doesn't mean tell me. It it's some, it's, doesn't make any sense. So, so the point is, if we can take this verb and add again, and if it means the same thing, then we should say re. Now, when we have the word remember, the common pronunciation is remember. Yes, it's possible to say remember. It's okay to say remember, but we can also, typically, we say remember. When we have the word review as a verb, it's possible to say review, but review is most common as a verb. But sometimes, for example, redo, we never say redo. We never yeah. say redo. So my recommendation for you guys is if you can do again or view again, then I recommend always sticking with re. If you can't, I recommend always sticking with r. It's just the easier thing, but it takes practice. So if we go here, look at this verb, we got this. So can we say locate again? Is that the same thing? No. It is. Uh, it is. Because we have to understand locate. Locate has several meanings. This is confusing. I know. I'm sorry, guys. Locate can mean to find, but it can also mean to place, okay, yeah. or to put. And that's I didn't the, know it meant to find. Yeah, yeah. Uh, locate, yeah. Can you locate my friend? Can you find my friend? Oh. Yes. Okay. Um, it also means to place. So locate again makes sense. We can say locate again. That is logical. Therefore, we should say relocate. And this is a three syllables. These are all just uh, you know simpler words. So we have to say relocate, relocate. This is the sound. Relocate, relocate. But I said it. Uh, I said relocate, didn't I? You said relocate. Oh, <laughs> yes. relocate? Yes. Relo okay. Relocate. They're, and that's perfect. They just relocate them. They just relocate them. No, you did it again. You, it's got to be longer. They, uh, okay. they just relocate them. They just relocate them. That's good, but both of these get hit the same. Relocate them. They just relocate them. Bingo. They just relocate them. They just relocate them. Relocate them. Relocate them. There you go. Very good. This is really tough for so many people. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Thank you. That you was bet. a you bet. good explanation. All right. Let me go to my next victim, Everton. I need more L, Everton. Use a light L if you can. I think you'll be happy here. I think you'll be happy here. You'll really have. You'll really have. Good. Let's say it faster. You'll really have. You'll, you'll really have. Your run of the place. Your run of the place. Most of the time. Most of the time. You'll really have your run of the place most of the time. You'll really have your... 
you really have your one of run of the place most of the time. Good. What does this mean, you guys? What does this sentence mean? Mm. Well, that dad is in charge with the uh, house responsibilities and the mom. <clears throat> My dad has the run of the house. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, but, sorry, sorry, but my mom. Sorry, sorry. The dad is the boss, um, and the mom. Uh, other way, other way. House. Opposite, opposite, opposite. Opposite. My mom runs the house. That means she's the boss. Oh. So, Benita, do you run your business? Yeah. You run your own business, right? Yeah. You're the boss. Okay? Yeah. You have a, a truck, correct? <laughs> Excuse me? You have a, a, a business truck, right? Uh, yeah, van. A van. No truck. Yeah. But you don't drive it. Your employee drives it, right? Yeah. No, and sometimes I do. Oh, yeah, sometimes, sure. But basically, your employee drives it, right? Yeah. So you can say, my employee has the run of the van but I run the business. Oh, okay. So what does this mean, to have the run of something, have the run of the house, have the run of the place? That means has the freedom to do whatever they want with it. So your employee, they can drive to the business, they can drive to lunch, they can drive to the gas station, they can do what they want, of course within the business, but they can do what they want. But you run the business. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to pay for that. <laughs> so this is a funny sentence, everybody. Dad, when he's at home, he does anything he wants. But mom is actually the boss. So could you please explain the, the sentences and the, the Jerry said? So, who is you? Me. No, in Jerry's sentence. Oh, the people. No. The bugs. Oh, the, the realtor. The, the cockroaches. Oh. <laughs> so the cockroaches can do anything they want in the house because the owner, Bertha, She's sleeping all night. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the idea. Uh, the owner of the house, the humans, whether it's Coach Shane or Bertha, they sleep through the night. And you, the cockroaches, can do whatever you want most of the time. Dad does whatever he wants in the house, but mom is the boss of the house. All right, thank you. Yeah, this is a, a important sentence, important expressions to understand. To have the run of something and to run something, very different, very different. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me go on to the last section. On uh, oh no, we got a little bit more. Killing insects. Killing insects. Great job. Uh, it's the same as uh, this, sex, insects. Mm. Sorry, um, insects. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. Yep. Cancel the T. That's right. Exactly. Cancel the T. That's right, Everton. And this one? Okay. Animal rights people don't care. Animal rights people don't care. Great job. More air. Care. Care. Great job. Very good. Very good. Let me go to Marco. 
you could probably walk into an animal rights organization meeting. Let's cancel all this. You could probably walk into a meeting. You could probably walk into a meeting. Good. You could probably. You could probably. Walk into. Walk into. Good. More. Don't worry about the L. Make this a W. A W. Walk into. Walk into. You could probably walk into a meeting. You could probably walk into a meeting. Very good. Walk into a meeting. Walk into a meeting. The only way. The only way. Good. Connect it. Make a connection. The only. The only. The only way. The only way. Cruelty. The cruelty of. The cruelty of. Good job. The cruelty of. The cruelty of. Connection. The cruelty of. The cruelty of. Good. Very good. Slaps his neck. You're killing a mosquito. Ah. Slaps his neck. Slaps his neck. <laughs> you don't have to say it. You have to do this. Ah. Got him. Slaps his neck. Don't read it. Do it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and then say, ah, got him. I got him. What does this mean, everybody? Got him. What does it mean? Give me another expression. Got him. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, exactly. That's right. I killed him. Him is probably a mosquito. <laughs> I killed the mosquito. Sorry. I killed the mosquito. And then... Uh, boycott these companies. Boycott these companies. More E. These. Boycott these companies. Good job. Boycott these companies. Boycott these companies. More E. Sorry, one more time. Boycott these companies. More these E. Companies. Even more. More. One more time. Boycott these companies. Yes, that's right. Is to boycott these companies. It's to, it's to boycott these companies. Bingo. Perfect. Good job. Good job, Marco. Thank you. All right. Let me go to the next section here. Let's find some more victims. I'm going to make it smaller. There, there's a lot to do. So, um, yeah, I'll just leave it right like this. Um, and I'm going to focus on George and Jerry here. Is that enough? Yeah, it's perfect. So let's do uh, Prashant, I want you to be George, and Tiago, how are you doing, Tiago? I want you to be Jerry, and Bertha, I want you to be Paula. Okay, hello, Coach Wayne. Hey, welcome. Thanks. Okay. Go for it, Prashant. Anyway, it's funny. Paula and I actually met because of Aline. Elaine, sorry. Elaine is in my drawing class at the school. Yeah, and I went down there one day to see. The nude model. If Elaine wanted, uh, if Elaine wanted to get some coffee. You know, I once went out with a nude model. Never let me see her neck naked. Hundreds of people see her naked every week. Expect me. Accept me. Needless to say it was quite a vexing, I think that's the pronunciation. <laughs> Are you through? Yeah. Okay, finally some good right. acting at the end. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, pronunciation, not too bad. Let's focus on pronunciation. So, uh, Prashant, let's get that W. Anyway. Anyway. More. Make it more natural. Anyway. 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 You're concentrating too much. Anyway. Anyway. Good. Anyway, it's funny. Anyway, it's funny. Very good. Very good. And better to give me more AW. Drawing class. Drawing class. Ah, oh, draw. Drawing class. Drawing class. Okay. 
I'm going to talk. This is intonation. Your pronunciation was fine. Let me go here first. Uh, so this word Elaine, 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 all possible. But usually we use a schwa and we say uh, Elaine. If Elaine, Prashant? Yes, yes. Uh, Elaine. Very Elaine. good. If Elaine. If Elaine. Wanted to go get some coffee. Wanted to go get some coffee. If Elaine wanted to go get some coffee. If Elaine wanted to go get some coffee. Good job. Uh, and Diego, nude model. Nude model. There you go. Get that I ah, and get this L, light L. Nude model. Nude model. 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 Okay, good. Model. Now, everybody, this is a question for everybody. I don't know, but we have to assume Shelly, Jerry's girlfriend, asked a question. What question did she ask? This is the difficult thing about Seinfeld. Sometimes we have to assume. How did you meet? How did you meet? Good job. How did you two meet? And you two would be George and uh, Paula. Great job. Okay, so that's the question. And there's something else. We're, we don't know. There is a, there's a joke anyway. And George says, anyway, it's funny. What is it? How we met. It oh. refers to how we met. It's funny. It's interesting. And now, here's the key story. Paul and I actually met because of Elaine. Intonation, one more time, Prashant. Paula and I actually met because of Elaine. Good. Be more interesting. It's funny. It's interesting. Paula and I it's actually met because of Elaine. It's funny. Paula and I actually met because of Elaine. Very. That sounded much better. Now, the next line, Paula is explaining. How is that possible? So she explains, Elaine is in my drawing class at the new school. Now, here it's really important. It's actually capital T. The intonation is different, the new school and the new school. So if it's just a new school, um, the new school, school gets emphasized. But here, it's the new school. It's a proper noun, so this word gets emphasized. So this is very important. It's a name of a school, not just a new school. It's actually a name, so the new gets emphasized. So, Berta, one more time, please. Elaine is in my drawing class at the new school. Elaine is in my drawing class at the new school. Drawing. Drawing. That was better. Don't connect it. Keep it separate. Drawing. I uh, I kind of care that you say in drawing. That was perfect. Do it again, please. <laughs> Draw. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't even remember how that is said yet. <laughs> drawing. Drawing. Ah, uh, that's close. That's too much. Drawing. Drawing. <laughs> Bingo. Drawing. Yes. Drawing. Oh my God. Try this again. Elaine is in my drawing class at the new school. Elaine is in my drawing class at the new school. Much, much better. Much better. Great. Okay. Thanks. Let me go back to Prashant. Yeah. And I went down there one day to see... Yeah, and I went down there one day to see. Good, good, good. So we have to understand that this is yeah. going to keep going a little bit. It makes it long. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, and I went down there one day to see. And cuts in means interrupts, and this has got to be quick. So, Diego, the nude model. 
the nude model. Yeah, and you have to be smiling. Okay, it's kind of funny. It's kind of stupid. So everybody <laughs>, laughs except George. Everybody laughs except George. And George is thinking in his mind, shut up, Jerry. And he says in that tone, shut up, Jerry, if Elaine wanted to go get some coffee. Prashant? If Elaine wanted to go get some coffee. There you go. Coffee. Coffee. Drawing. Coffee. Coffee. Bingo. Coffee. Yes. Yeah. Let's do this one. Diego, needless to say, it was quite vexing. My God. Needless. Can you repeat? You bet. I needless to say, it was quite vexing. Needless to say, it was quite vexing. Very good, very good. Sounds really good, guys. Questions? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit more here. We got more to do, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna get the next section. Francisco, you are George. Yuka, you are Jerry. And Everton, you are Paula, and Marco, you are Shelly. Go for it, guys. Okay. So, anyway, I started to compliment Elaine on her sketches, and it turns out they are Paula's. George, I just like to do it. Oh, drop my napkin. Jerry. What? What are you doing? What? She had those nuts in her mouth. She just spit them out. Ah, you, you, you ate those. Uh, you ate these. You sucked. You sucked on these and then put them on the plate. Well, I did not know we were gonna eat them. I'm sorry you find me so hypocritical. <laughs> Great job. Very good. Very good. Okay, so here we're using it as a noun. I started to compliment Elaine. I started to compliment Elaine on her sketches. On her sketches. On her on her on her sketches. On her sketches. Keep that R on her sketches. On her sketches. And it turns out? And it turns out. No, 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 intonation. And it turns out and it turns out. Nope. And it turns out. And it turns out. They're Paula's. They're Paula's. Try it again. Uh, so anyway, I started to compliment Elaine on her sketches. And it turns out they're Paula's. Very good. Very good. That was much better. Let me get this doodle a little bit better here, Everton. I just like to doodle. I just like to doodle. Very good. Everton, do you doodle? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> do you doodle uh, artistically or just really bad? Oh, really bad. It's, uh, when I um in the cell phone or yeah. cell phone, I make some doodle. Yeah, yeah, just like me, just like me. Yeah, really bad doodles too. <laughs> Okay, let me go back to Francisco. TH, uh, in her mouth. In her mouth. Good, good. She had those nuts in her mouth. She had those nuts in her mouth. Very good, very good. And Marco, I didn't know you were going to eat them. I didn't know you were going to eat them. Good. Make this shorter. Gonna, gonna, gonna eat them. Gonna eat them? Great. I'm sorry you find me so repulsive. I'm sorry you find, it, find me so repulsive. Good job. One more time. I'm sorry you find me so repulsive. I'm sorry you find me so repulsive. Good. Now, look at this, guys. Do we say repulsive or repulsive? Repul repulsive. Right, pulsive again? What is pulsive? Exactly, right, exactly, right. What the hell is that? Nothing, it's nothing. So that means 
we should say, you can say re, you can, but usually we'll say r, okay? Okay. Very good, very good. Let's keep going here. Um, uh, hold on, I'm going to connect this up here, I think. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do uh, Cooney. I want you to be Jerry. Mm -hmm. Bertha, you are Shelly. Oh, I'm not. I'm sorry, not Bertha. Prashant, you are Shelly. Uh, Diego, you are Paula. And yeah, I have to go back to Bertha. Bertha, you are George, please. Go for it, guys. No, no, I don't mean. Don't be silly. It's... Yeah. Yes. Well, um, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll just go to the ladies' room. I'll join you. <laughs> Man, did you see that? I ate discarded food. Well, I've done that. Yeah, but I wish you it's intentional. Haven't you kissed her? Yeah, but this is a different. This is a like, uh, you know, semi-digested food stuff. You know, the next step is the stomach, and uh, and you can take it from there. Great job, guys! Very good, very good. Uh, who is my Paula? <laughs> Let me go back here. So, <laughs> this is. Oh. I do not want you to say ahem. How do we read this? Anybody? <coughs> Thank you. That's right. It's like a cough. Well, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, Prashant. Well, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me. Good. So when do we do this, Prashant? When do we do this? Uh, to clear the slot, slot. Okay, this is the idea. If somebody says something stupid and you want to leave, or if somebody says something stupid and you want to change the subject, you can say, <clears throat> mm -hmm. okay. okay, so for example, um, let's say, uh, uh, that's what, I'm trying to think of Prashant an example. Prashant, do you have a, a a best friend? Yes. What's his name? His name is uh, uh, Rubio. Rubio. And is Rubio fat? No. Is he too skinny? No, he is okay. <laughs> is he is he bald? No. What's wrong with him? Something's got to be wrong with him. Give me something wrong with him. <laughs> His eyes are so... Um, He's blind. Bl okay. Okay. So, so, blind, but his eyes inside the, you know, temple. So in. Ah, so, okay. So his eyes are very deep. Deep, yeah. Okay, good. So, um, so it's me. Um, it's Prashant. And it's Rubio, uh, Rubio, and we're all having lunch. Um, and I say something stupid. I say, Rubio, how can you see? Your eyes are so deep. And I'm just trying to make a joke. But Rubio doesn't think it's funny. So Rubio's like, <clears throat> you know, he's like, he's like, uh, he's kind of angry. He says, uh, well, uh. And then Prashant, you save the day. Uh, okay. uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Shane, when are you leaving? <laughs> so let's try this. Rubio, okay. how can you see? Your eyes are so deep. Uh, well, um... <clears throat> so, Shane, when are you leaving? There you go. That was perfectly natural. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Marco. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, <Mr. Marco. laughs> uh, he's a presidential candidate in America. Try this okay. again. Try this again. 
Well, <coughs> if you'll excuse me, I think I'll just go to the ladies' room. Very good. Now, you said go to the, which is fine. That's perfect pronunciation. To, to the. Yeah. Okay. That's right. And actually, okay. I'm going to recommend go to. Go to the. Go to the. Yeah. Okay. Go to. So let's, let's change it to, uh, since you're a man. Uh, I think I'll just go to the men's room. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. I think I'll, I'll just go to the men's room. Go to the. Go to the. Go to the. Flap T, go to the. Go to the, go to the no, men's no, no, room. No, no. I, no um, I don't. You're saying do, and I don't want do. I want it to be really fast. Yeah. Go to the. Go to go to the men's room. Go to the men's room. Go to the the. Gotta have the the. Go to go to the men's room. Go to the men's room. <laughs> You're not saying the. Go to the. Go to the. Uh, if I say the. One more time. Go to the. Go to the. Go to the. Go to the. Hi go Marco. The. Go to the. Go to the. Go to the. Go to the. Yes. Go yes. to the. Good. Keep that th. Keep the th alive. Go to the. Go to the. Bless you. Go, go to the. the. I think I'll just go to the men's room. I think I'll just go to the men. Go to the men's room. That was much better. I want you to practice that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, ba 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 bum. Who's next here? Jerry. But with you, it's intentional. But with you, it's intentional. Very good, very good. And you know this word. How do we say this word, Kuni? Different. There you go. That's right. Two syllables. And my recommendation, different, different. Different. You can take it from there. You can take it, uh, you can take it from there. One more time. You can take it from there. You can take it from here. From there. From there. Great job. Very good. And let me go. We're going to finish it up here. Who wants to be George? Anybody? Me. Better that you are George. Who wants to be Jerry? Prashant, I... you are Jerry. Who wants to be Shelly? Shelly and Paula. Come on. Don't be... Okay, Francisco, Shelly. Thank you, Francisco. And Paul, you're both. Thank you very much. Uh, go for it, Berta. All right. Excuse me. Wait a second. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. That's going to make a big difference. <laughs> hey, this is dating. You can't leave anything to chance. Hey, you think Shelly's upset that I made such a big deal about the packing? About the packing? Uh huh. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Well, Jerry, I guess we should get going. Oh boy. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Shelley. And Jerry, be careful. There is a lot of nuts out there. Alrighty. Do you have everything? Oh, can you grab my purse? Uh, yeah. Okay, great job. So let me go back here. Um, this is Prashant. That's gonna. Uh, is, yeah. This is sarcasm. That's gonna make a big difference. Okay, that's gonna make a big difference. Good. And this is sarcasm, so it means the opposite. Okay. Okay. Careful with your S H and S here. You think Shelley's upset? upset? You think Shelley's upset? Upset. Upset. Good. Set. Set. Good. You think Shelly's upset that I made such a big deal? You think Shelly's upset that you made such a big deal? That I made. One more time. I'm so sorry. You think Shelly's upset that I made a I made such a big deal? About the pecan? About the pecan? Yes, yes. So we got so many pronunciations. Pecan, pecan, pecan. There are many possible pronunciations. Okay. Yeah. And once again, 
this is sarcasm here too. So be angry. Thanks. Thanks. There you go. Perfect. 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 And this is Shelly's line. Francisco, careful here. Uh, be angry. You're not happy. I guess we should get going. Well, Jerry, I guess we guess. I guess we should get going. Good. And now you're in trouble, Prashant. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> And then uh, George's line, there's a lot of nuts out there. There is a lot of nuts out there. Very good. Now, my question to everybody, when do we use this expression? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but my daughter doesn't uh, like me to say that. <laughs> We use this expression when we finish something, when we finish a conversation. Yeah. Uh, really. All righty. She, yeah. she doesn't like it. <laughs> well, yeah. you know what, Berta? It is kind of a guy expression. Oh, I yeah. I, you know, women can say it, no problem, no problem. But it is kind of a, a guy expression. And when we do it, listen carefully, everybody. This is what we do. Well, all righty. Do you have everything? So we kind of clap our hands and then rub our hands mm -hmm. together. This is usually what we do. All righty. Let's get out of right. here. That's the idea. Okay? And finally, Francisco, grab. Grab my purse. Grab my purse. Great job. Any questions? Two hours today almost. My goodness. Yeah, I have some questions. No. In the the, the stand up yes. page. Yeah. The okay. No. Cash the, the the very top part. Okay. In the beginning, the beginning. Yeah, the, in the middle part, you explain this is a good expression. They are big realtors is what they are. They're bug realtors uh, is what they are, yes. Yeah, and uh, my question is the, the, the first part should be in the quotation mark. They are big realtors is what they are. What's your question? My question is the question mark question mark the, for the first sentence. They are big uh, realtors. No, it's not a question. I'll, I'll give you some examples. Um, so let's do this. So okay. all this is, is we're emphasizing Bertha's not just a woman. Everton's not just a guy. Marco's not just smart. Prashant is not just a teacher. Francisco is not just a regular guy. Yuka's not just a cook. Cooney's not just retired. Uh, Cooney's not just a, a, an older guy. He's a retiree is what he is. She's a businesswoman is what she is. He's a comedian is what he is. So you're emphasizing this is a really good word to describe the person. And Bertha's not just a woman. Bertha's not just an American. She's a businesswoman. Everton, yeah, he's funny, but he's not just funny. He's a comedian. Everton is a comedian. 
Now, this is the idea. So by by saying this and then adding this, we're emphasizing the noun. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand from your explanation, but my question is whether it should be in in to inside of the quotation mark for the view or how to say in the in a grammatical way. No. 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 This is don't think of this as a, a typical grammatic statement. Um, think of this as an adverbial. This is not a question. Uh, this is the okay. sentence. They're bug realtors. Okay. And okay, I see. And another question. Yeah. <laughs> and in the middle part, the even the animal like like people don't care the the insect. Yeah. But the, the last part is a little bit contradictory to that part. Don't you think so? Why is that? The 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 last part is about the 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 cockroach cockroaches the bugs. Right. But in the middle part, the animal like people don't care about the bugs. They care about the animals. Ah, 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 ah. Well, the focus is uh, killing. Okay. So, so for example, um, I have two students who are vegans. Do you know what a vegan is? Yes. What's a vegan? Uh, eat only vegetables. Yeah. It not even milk. Okay. Yeah. Not even milk. Yeah. So they no death. Okay. No death. So I asked them, yeah, but if you see a spider, you'll kill it, right? And they say, no, no, they don't even kill spiders. So usually when we think about insects, even vegans will kill insects. But actually, it seems not to be true. But the assumption is vegans hate death. So even, but vegans hate death, but still they'll kill bugs. That's the idea. So he's not talking vegans here. He's talking about animal rights people. Animal rights mm -hmm. people are usually vegans. Mm -hmm. um, so the nuance would be uh, even animal rights people who hate death, even they kill insects. Okay, okay. Okay, and then my last question. Yep. Uh, uh, with uh, the, in the previous hangout with the Kelly, she points out my R sound. Okay, good. R pronunciation. Good. And he directs me to put my tongue forward more. Okay. Yeah, and I tried, but do you have any other point to, to, to direct me? To okay, make so the pronunciation correct? I'll try and make a picture here. This is what I like to tell people. Um, this, these are your front teeth, and these are your lower teeth. And when we make the R sound, your tongue, your tongue usually sits like this. But when we make the R sound, I want your tongue to point to this. This is called the alveolar ridge. It should be pointing, not touching. Now. Imagine right here in your tongue, you have uh, a bean, a cone, okay, like a bean, and you're balancing the bean. You're not only balancing, you're holding the bean with your tongue. So there's a lot of muscle strength in this, uh, in the feeling right here. So it's, er, er, and the sound comes from back here, er, er, try it. Or. Oh. Oh, okay, oh. that sounds good. You don't. You're moving your tongue. Don't move your tongue. Er. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Er. Oh. Er. Oh. Er. Stick oh. your tongue oh. a little bit closer. Er. Oh. Oh. Er. Oh. Her. Oh. Ah, uh, can you? Do you have a camera? Let me. See, if you have a camera, can I see you? Ah, uh, you don't have a no. camera. Okay. No. Um. Er, er, er. Okay, that was good. Er, er. Okay, 
Francisco, I, I think that your tongue is too high. I think it's pointing up here. It shouldn't point here. I think you need to bring your tongue down a little bit. Er. Uh, uh, huh. Good. Good. That sounded huh. better. Er. Uh, huh, huh. Good. That was good. Her. Uh. That was really good. That was your best so far. Er. I feel especially difficulties from the, the first hand the R is placed in the first part of the it, word. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Re, re, re. re, re, re Good. Re, That's perfect. Re. Re. re perfect. Re, Absolutely perfect. Re. Okay. I try. I practice. <laughs> yep, keep practicing. Okay. 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 Thank you. Great Could you please check my ear sound very quick? Sure. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, no, wait. Uh, Try this. Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio. Perfect. Marco Rubio is guapo. Is a what? Guapo. <laughs> a, a, a waffle? <laughs> no, a guapo, no. Guapo. <laughs> What's a guapo? No, a guapo no, es guapo. Guapo. <laughs> oh, it's your homework. <laughs> oh, no, I already have the next assignment. I have French in my homework. You guys are killing me. <laughs> you guys did great. Thank you very much for joining me. I have another hangout in 14 hours. If you want, you're, I'll send invitations. You're free to join. But I want to say thank you to everybody. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Coach James. Take care. You guys have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.